What's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. So, in the last episode, we got our living frigate, which is absolutely amazing, fantastic, and awesome. And today, we're gonna do something a little bit on the same lines. Basically, we're gonna check out the food options for these living frigates. So, if I go to manage fleet here, and we pop in to our living frigate here, you can see we can see food and uh, feed vessel and redistribute stats. So what I wanna do is I kinda wanna play with that. I wanna see like what kind of foods we feed it and what kind of like stats we get. Um, so yeah, pretty excited about that. And uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get on into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Now, uh, in order to get that going, we actually need the one part that I did not get because I didn't really care about it. It was the, the nutrition room. Um, oh, we actually, I did get that one. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna build the nutrition room and we're gonna see what we need to, uh, to make some foods because this is honestly something that I really have never played with. So let's see here. Scanner room, teleport, fleet command, galactic trade, technology. What is it, is it in here? Nutrition, okay. So it is a planty, planty kind of room. So let's put that in here. Um, do we want to go right here? Oh, you know what? Let's put that in the middle here. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and edit this part. Let's delete that part. Let's go ahead and go into here. Grab our nutrition room, throw it right there. Perfect. Okay. Um, also, actually, I don't know if this is in the update or the experimental. So apparently we are going to be able to harvest this stuff on the walls as carbon which is absolutely amazing um because if you uh well actually yeah if you remember my base building thing i put those uh those carbon things down there well uh, no need because i think these are eventually gonna be harvestable so i believe that's experimental right now though so let's get into our food processor our nutrition processor and let's kind of see what we got here so hmm I'm not actually sure. Okay, so I put feline liver. What is this? Processed meat. Incinerate flesh. You know, I don't really know. Like, can I put a creature pellet in here too? No. Okay. So what other food items? Is it like do cactus flesh? No. What happens if I just do cactus flesh? Cactus nectar. I'm curious as to like what these all do. Uh, access ingredient storage. Oh, so you can put frost crystal selenium. You can put all this kind of stuff in there. Hmm. I wonder if there's like a list of like foods. Is there a list of foods anywhere that we can go ahead? Like that will tell us like how to make stuff? Probably not. Huh. Hey, cooking products. Okay. So we can cook with larval cores. We can cook with all of this stuff. Now, does it say, like, is there anything that says like the recipe for it? So like, say we wanted to go with processed meat, fruit refined, it's gonna be highly valuable. Can we consume it as it stands or subject for the process and cactus and nectar? So it doesn't really tell us anything about it, does it? Oh my gosh, there's so many different foods holy moly okay you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna try stuff we're just gonna start throwing stuff together okay so let's do a uh a larval core baked eggs that sounds pretty tasty and hypnotic eye okay can't do a hypnotic eye what about like a uh with with like a, a feline liver in there no nothing what about frost crystal with that no nothing okay so i mean larval core larval core turns directly into nanites so i will not be making these very often but let's just go ahead and make those and let's just see what baked eggs does. <laughs> That's kind of gross. Larval cords turns into, I mean, I guess, okay, it's an egg. You cook up an egg. It is, it's, it's a cooked egg. All right, let's throw that in our high capacity suit here. Um, let's throw that in high capacity. Let's see what else we got. So hypnotic eyes, what do those turn into? Horrifying mush. Interesting. That almost looks like a larval core. Wait, can, I wonder if I could turn those into Nana. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna just quick pit stop test. Value is at 90,000. Highly valuable. Oh, it's not worth as much as the hypnotic. Oh no, one hypnotic. Oh, so that is worth more. Okay, hold on a second. If I put those in my storage, in my suit, and I go into my suit and we go into this, 
what is the, can we, the horrifying mush, what does that turn into? Nothing. Okay. All right. Well, then never mind. I was, I was hoping that maybe that would turn into uh, nanites as well. Okay. What well, can horrifying mush be turned into anything? No, nothing. Okay. Interesting that it's so, uh, it's so valuable though. Um, okay. So let's do what? Maybe a star bulb, a uh, pilgrim berry. I don't need that many. Let's just process a couple of those. Gamma root turns into sievert berries, sievert beans. Okay. I'm just going to try to go through and get like a, get a, a group of stuff here. Um, non-toxic mushroom. Because I don't know, I don't know what the, um, I don't know what like the effects are going to have on the living ship. You know what I mean? And I don't know if there's like a, like a best tier food there. Pro I'm sure there is like a, you know, highly complex food that's, um, requires like a bunch of different re cooking resources, but I just don't know because I haven't really played with it yet. Oh, wait a second. So Solaritino, it can be further processed to steamed vegetables. What happens if I throw like these in there? Fibrous stew what about horrifying mush. Nothing. Okay, horrifying mush just just doesn't belong. <laughs> uh, what about pilgrimberry in there? What if I do that? No. What if I do that? No. It probably won't do it until I put it away. Can I throw non-toxic mushrooms in there? So fibrous stew. Okay, you know what? Let's let's cook up some of those. Um, two, I'm going to say the more processed it is, the better it's going to be for the living ship. It's okay. So now if I swap these out to like sievert beans. Okay. So those are the same. Do you have anything else that we can cook? No, not really. I've not got a guy cactus flesh. What did frost crystal turn into? Glass grains? That doesn't sound very good. Just saying. Okay, let's go see what these things do to our, sh <laughs> our ship. Let's see what they do. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna give the ship indigestion and it's gonna like vomit everywhere. That'd be terrible. It'd be kind of funny though. Um, all right, so let's see. If I go in here, manage fleet. Let's go into our managed fleet. Let's go into... Uh, the living ship. Let's feed the vessel the fibrous stew. So three sixteen one three. Oh, holy moly. Eighteen one one three. Okay, so I don't remember three sixteen. Okay, so that made it combat related. So that turned it into a combat ship. So that basically. Okay, so if I go with. Pilgrimberry. So 18, 1, 1, 3. We're at 23 total points here. 18, 1, 1, 3. So now it's trade related because we give it a Pilgrimberry. What about baked eggs? Oh, that made it terrible. 3, 1, 1, 3. That made it awful. Okay, baked eggs is absolutely terrible. Uh, don't do that. Insufficient nutrient. Oh, goodness. Uh, let's let's give it the uh, the fibrous stew again. Okay, so 18113. So that makes me think that there's definitely a food. Um, actually, I don't want to feed it because I, 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 that makes me think that there's definitely a food. Because if it went all the way to 18 combat 113 and it was at 3113, if it just straight up gave it stats, that makes me think that there's a better food out there to give it. Ooh, I think I'm going to do some research here and see if I can't find some food that would make it better. Um, so I walked over there and then my, my nutrient processor's gone. <laughs> where, where the heck did it go? Oh my goodness with the bugs. Okay. So I think I have a recipe that I think we can try to make here. Um, there are so many, oh my gosh, there's so many different things that you can make. And I'm actually thinking that because of this, I think we need to get a farm set up. I'm going to try to teleport here teleport back and see if this loads in now uh, but there are like tons and tons of recipes so yes okay nutrient processor is back fantastic but there is one that i think we can make that is a top tier item um, and i kind of want to see what it does to the living ship so let's go ahead and let's work on this so um, we're going to start with 
Let's see, where is... We need, we need some of this because that's going to give us wild yeast. So we're going to let that do its thing. Wow, we're going to need a lot of these. Um, I feel like we need a cooking room. Yeah, yeah, I feel like we're going to need a cooking room. Um, because I'd like to get a bunch of these processors going. Let's just stop at 10. I don't know if 10 is even going to be enough. But let's just stop at 10. We'll try to get those. We're going to try to make a... I think it's a jelly donut or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that into storage. Throw this into storage. And then uh, we need... I need frost crystal. How come I don't have access to... I don't actually have access to my cargo stuff. Which is kind of weird. Okay, so yeah, I don't actually have access to my uh, my storage, which is kind of weird, but we're going to do some frost crystal because that's going to turn into glass grains. And I believe glass grains can then be turned into wheat, which then I think gives us like a base for our thing. Now, uh, is there milk that we need? I have no idea. I'm going to let these process down a little bit. Yeah, so I'm going to need milk um, and we're going to have to figure that out. Okay, so let's put that next to high capacity, throw this into there. So now from there, we also need to go ahead and do glass grains into flour. And then we're also going to do um, cactus flush into a cactus sugary substance and then that into like a sugar. Um, but I'm going to go get milk. All right, this is taking too long. We're making a new room. We are doing it. Uh, let's go ahead and let's grab here. We're going to go ahead and grab just a uh, expansion. What am I out of? Available to build zero. What? Oh, biological room expansion. Okay. So there's that one. Let's go ahead and do another one. And then I want nutrition room. Here we go. Okay, so... Let's put one... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and expand again. Because I want it separate from my uh, farming area. So it's going to go in here, uh, nutrition room. Can we rotate like that? You know what? Let's just put a couple like this. I can build 37 of them, so we should be okay. All right, so there's those. Let's go ahead and get some on this side. All right, so now we have nutrient processors everywhere. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we just go. Let's just go ahead and start processing like everything. Like you know what? Why? Why not? Why not? Let's just do it. Um, so cactus flesh. Go ahead and start that up. And then let's go ahead and get. Uh, do we have frost crystal in here? Let's go ahead and get our frost crystal going. Just start that up. I feel like we should basically just get like all of our basic stuff going. Like why not? Uh. Facium, that's gonna turn into yeast. We're gonna need those. And then I think we're good on those. So we'll just let those things go. Now I gotta get milk. Uh, <laughs> and you know, I thought with this update, and I, I made a statement too, and I am I am now incorrect. Um, you cannot do absolutely everything on your freighter because you cannot have a farm with animals to gather the resources from animals so you have to do that on the planet side still unless they add oh my gosh could you imagine if they added like a um like a pasture like a pasture type room where you could bring animals up oh that'd be super cool um but let's go ahead let's head to i need to head somewhere and we got to get some building going we gotta get some um food process oh you know what i just realized i don't even think i have those unlocked right now oh shoot uh let me see if i have any salvage data that i can snag so I had a couple salvage data. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to uh, <laughs> to buy the stuff that I need. Because, I, like I said, I don't think I ever bought this stuff. Uh, so we're looking for... Oh, gosh. They're 10 apiece. So livestock, you know, automatic harvest robot, automatic feeder. I want both of those. Ugh. So I'm going to have to go out and find some... Uh, we're going to have to get some salvage data here. And then come back for that. And then we need to set up a little bit of a farm. So let's just go ahead and let's get the livestock unit. Automatically harvest substance from creatures requires power. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Cool. So we'll go figure out a planet to set that down on. And then I'll go ahead and try to uh, get some salvage data to grab that bad boy. 
All right, so we stopped at a paradise planet. This is my paradise planet that I have marked. I've had it marked for a long time and I knew I was gonna do something here. Well, guess what? It's becoming a farm. <laughs> we are going to farm it. So let's go ahead and let's get some stuff set up here. Actually, let's first thing, let's call in our freighter. So that way, hopefully we'll have access to all the stuff. What in the absolute heck? That is terrifying. Um, okay. Let's get into our building and I'm just going to build some basic stuff. We're not going to do anything super crazy right now. Do I have cuboid rooms? Can I do cuboid rooms? How many can I build? Pure ferrite, cuboid room, glass cuboid room is what I really want. Uh, I'll just go with this. How many can I build? I can build 10. Okay. That'll work. That'll be fine. It's just going to be a small farm, you know? Uh, where did my pieces go? Oh, they went underground. Fantastic. All right, that'll work. Let's go and get a door in here. Fantastic. Uh, can we get a ramp, please? Where's the ramps? Access ramp. Perfect. Okay, so that's good. And then we're just going to go with some, uh, I think we're just going to go solar here. I don't think we're going to need a lot of, well, you know what? Let's just see. Uh, do we have a power spot nearby? No nearby house spot. Okay, so that answers that question. So let's go ahead and get some power in here real fast. This is going to be just like a temporary farm. We might actually, I might actually start making this like an actual farm. Uh, we might actually spend some time here and make this like right. But for now, I kind of want to just get it going. I can build 201 of these. So let's just get a few of them going for now. And then we're gonna need uh, batteries for sure. All right, and let's just do some wiring real quick. It's about to be dark too, so fantastic. Where am I hooked to right now? Oh, that one? Okay, so everything is powered up nicely. Yeah, look at them. Look at them charging up. Okay, so that's all good. We have power. Good. Now, let's figure out this whole livestock thing. Um, I don't know if we have to trap these things or like what's going on here. I don't, it's been so long since I messed with these. So let's see, where is, okay, livestock unit, a robotic farming unit designed to automatically harvest substances from creatures requires power. Creatures that are ready to be harvested for milk, eggs, or other special produce will approach the livestock unit and deposit their yields. The creatures are unharmed by the process. Will harvest produce from creatures fed by hand or via an automated feeder. So I need polyfiber and face, face. Oh, I left it all in my ship up there, darn it. And then polyfiber. I don't know if I have the stuff for that. I don't, what am I missing? Oh, star bulb, <laughs> which is all. Uh, no, it's, it shouldn't be up there. I think we have star bulb. Item teleportation enabled. Oh, we had a bunch of star bulb. I only have 79. I need 200. Okay, we're gonna have to take a quick trip to another base. Um, and then also, I gotta figure out, <sighs> are there even any creatures here that I can actually feed? I have no idea because there's like no like normal walking around creatures. I'm going to drop some creature pellets down and see what happens. I, I'm hoping something. Oh, there is a creature right there. Oh, recently fed. Oh my gosh, this thing is recently fed too. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, Mr. Tentacle Man and Mr. Bubbles. Oh, that's phenomenal. That is actually super cool. <laughs> okay, let's go grab uh, let's go grab some stuff. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll we'll get that harvester unit set up. Oh, I probably should also grab some salvage data too. Natural burial site. Is there any salvage data nearby? Alright, I'm gonna go grab some of that. 
Okay, I have the salvage that I need. Um, let's go ahead and let's get our ship over here. We'll pop up there, grab the stuff that I need for the uh, the livestock unit. What do we need? We need like polyfiber or something like that. And then uh, we'll get those going. We'll get the livestock unit and then we'll see what kind of... I'm hoping I can get milk from one of those. I don't know, a tentacle dude and a bubble? <laughs> I don't even know what kind of uh, produce to expect from those. Okay, since we're back up here, we're grabbing the stuff. I am going to go ahead and get the uh, cactus nectar, cactus nectar, turn that into sugar. We're gonna, what? There's definitely something in here. Uh, what the heck? I definitely had stuff in here. Where did they go? Okay, so nutrient processors are missing food items, which is not good because I had a lot of cactus flesh or a lot of face seam in one of these too. Oh no, is this part of the, so a while, oh, that was a long time ago, but I mean, I guess maybe it's a bug again. If you left your uh, refiners, you would lose all the items inside of them. Um, I that was I thought that was since fixed, but apparently it's not. That is not great. Um, I can make a polyfiber, which is good. Oh, that is such a bummer. Which is weird though, because this one was here, unless it finished, unless this finished before I actually left. Hmm. I wonder if that's the case. Also, I've noticed my plants haven't been growing either. I don't know what the deal is with these. Like they haven't grown at all, like none of them. So I think those are broken too. Okay, so I needed, I need facium, fascium, whatever, um, but I don't have it because it's gone. So we're going to go ahead and get this part hooked up. I have to get the livestock unit still made. I need that and polyfiber. And then for polyfiber, I think I need star bramble as well. So <laughs> might have to take a trip somewhere else too. But let's go ahead and let's just get this hooked up with, where's the wiring? Uh, can I just go into here and then just hit wiring? Toggle wiring. There we go. So we'll put that there. Automatic feeder. So let's go ahead and put some creature pellets in there. Actually, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't throw the creature pellets in there quite yet. Let's wait until we have the um, the collection unit ready. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my other base. Actually, is there star bramble on this planet? Well, I still need, f I still need face him too. And I don't have, I don't think any of these creatures are gonna poop. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if they're pooping type creatures. Oh my goodness. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but it seems like all of the plants are broken. Um, I haven't harvested this for at least a day and all of none of these have grown at all, which is super weird. And also a pain <laughs> because like that's the reason to have a farm is so you can get your resources super easy, but none of them have grown. That is so weird. All right. So I'm going to have to find star ramble and we're going to find some creatures to feed. Oh, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I, you know, I love it. All right. So I got the second polyfiber that I need. Uh, you know what I'm actually thinking? I'm thinking maybe I should just have my uh, my food thing here. Oh, did you just eat somebody? Because I really need you to not eat people because I'm going to need my uh, I need I need the face Um, yeah, you're eating somebody. I'm so I'm sorry, but I can't have you eating my stuff. I need I need, I'm going to need the poopsies. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we should uh, maybe we should actually set up our farm here because there's actual creatures here. 
yeah since this is my main base with my main farming area i think this is where we should have it so uh, let's see where a good spot would be here maybe over here on this side like down in this area right here i feel like this would be an excellent pasture area okay can i make another automated feeder no of course not because i don't have the stuff um we have to go take oh you know what hold on let's get that in here how do i not have the two oh did i make i made it in my ship don't i didn't it? darn it don't know gah So now I just need the facium, which will work easily. Uh, let's go ahead and get into here because these, if I start feeding them, then they should start the pooping. And we'll just wire this one up to there for now. Let's go ahead and get the auto feeder going. Auto feed, please. Oh, thank you. Can I make, uh, I need to make more creature pellets. Cannot build missing components. Am I seriously missing more carbon? Oh my goodness. You know, and actually, these guys are so cute. Look at how little teeny tiny they are. They're so cute. I love them. These are, you know what? These are a good, this, this is a good creature to harvest. <laughs> We're not harvesting them. We're harvesting their, whatever they're going to give us. Hopefully, hopefully it's milk because that's what I need. Um, are you guys going to poop at all? Like any poops at all? Oh, here, well, uh, no. Is that a poop? That's not a poop, that's a mushroom. I wonder if they don't poop when they're automatically fed. Because like none of these guys are going at all. Oh my gosh, I have enough poop now. Let's do it. I had to feed those guys by hand. Um, okay. So now livestock unit. We'll get this set up like right here. And then let's go ahead and get into the wiring. There we go. Okay, so livestock unit automatic harvesting robot. So they should go over to that and then that should automatically harvest them. And then what do we have in here? Harvest goods. Storage for automatically harvested creature products only. Okay, cool. Um, but I'm gonna need some more carbon for more creature pellets to keep that thing going. So, let's go get some carbon. Oh my gosh, this planet is a very carbon rich planet. Um, there's a lot of carbon to be had here. Holy moly. On like a matter of five plants, I got like 2000 carbon. That's amazing. I'm going to turn these all into creature pellets. All right, there we go. Let's feed this unit up. Hello, how are you? Um, diet is small animals. No, don't eat my small animals. Hopefully they won't eat because like I'm feeding them. Okay, so there's that. You better not have eaten my small animal. Berry pouch empty. 25 seconds. Okay, so what do we got here? A leopard fruit. An animal byproduct and nutrition morsel can be easily farmed without harm to the animal produces. <gasps> and milk. Okay, cool. So those are going doing their things. Um, is this place powered? How do I have this place powered? I'm actually kind of curious now if I have this powered via solar panels or if I have it powered via... How do I? Oh, I forgot I had all this carbon in here. My gosh. How do I have this place powered? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Wanted to make sure I had like, you know, sufficient power here. I want to make sure that this guy's not eating my uh, little guys. What are you eating? You better not be eating my little guys. Otherwise, I'm going to end you. I see you walking towards it. Don't you do it. Oh. Doesn't look like he is. Okay. 
Because I need the milk. That guy's giving me the berry pouch thing. I need the milks. All right, we have six milk. Let's take that back. And let's see if we can't get um, a donut made here. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We've got... Um, we've got flour. Now, does flour and milk make dough? What about sugar? Okay, that's not right. What about milk? Okay, so milk makes cream. And then, oh, you know what? I think you mix two creams and then you get like a, an oil. Is that right? Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so there's that. Um, darn it. Put two there. Or wait. Maybe it makes churned butter. Okay, let's make churned butter. And then maybe two churned butter makes oil? I can't remember. It, it's something like that. And then, like, I think the oil gets then turned into... Hold on, let's see here. Clarified oil. Okay, so there's that. So now... Clarified oil and wheat? Maybe? Make dough? No. <laughs> um, and cream? What about that? Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to figure this out. Oh, you know what? It's the wild yeast. Yeast. Duh. Yeast flour makes dough. Okay. That would make sense. I mean, yeast flour and like usually a milk or something. something I don't know. Okay, so now... <laughs> this is an experience like no other. Dough, sugar, and then the oil. Right? Maybe? <gasps> Donut. We got a donut, Lumpen Donut, a fine product created in the highly valuable 48,000 units. That's actually not bad. Okay, so let's feed that. <laughs> All of that work to feed the living ship a donut. <laughs> I fed the living ship a donut and this happened. <laughs> That's probably exactly what the title of this video is gonna be. Oh my gosh, it seems like so much work. Okay, and hey, watch the donut, it's not even gonna do anything. It's gonna be like terrible. Um, okay, so this guy, so 18113, uh, you are getting a donut here. Wow, I'm super laggy all of a sudden. Okay. Are you kidding me? 3113, are you absolutely kidding me? I gave it the, one of the best foods I could and it did nothing. It made it worse. What is this? Cream makes a combat. I wanted to have a higher exploration. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe that. What about flour? Oh. Okay, so flour gave it a higher ne higher exploration value. Okay. Interesting. All right, so let's leave that alone. Let's go ahead and send that on our mission. And then, um, yeah, oh my gosh, I can't even believe, I can't believe that. The donut did absolutely nothing. It was garbage. Give it a good food? No. That's interesting. So I'm going to definitely have to uh, get a farm going and play with, some, play with some things there. Okay, so of course we don't even have any discovery ones. We have, um, I mean, industrial balance. Let's go with the balance. I don't know why I'm so laggy all of a sudden. Jeez Louise. Let's go ahead and just go with the balanced one. Um, we'll send you off, you, you, and you. It's probably way too much, but hey, that's all right. Yeah, four stars, too. That's fine. Launch that expedition, baby. Let's do it. All right. So we fed our living ship a jelly donut, and the last thing that I want to do is I want to pulse around for a little bit, see if I can't find another living frigate, because I still have not been able to find one. All right, so no luck on uh, pulsing around finding one. I'm going to have to see if I can figure out another way to do this. I'm going to do some research online, see if I can't figure it out. But uh, that's going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what food you have fed your living for and what stats you got. Because I'm super curious. Um, I, <laughs> I was very disappointed that our high-tier jelly donut 
didn't uh, didn't do anything better, but you know, it is what it is. So, um, but yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.